They were aristocrats, entitled and sustained by a greed for power. Having been involved in the foundation of Umbrella, the Ashford family had also independently performed research on the Veronica virus. However, 15 years ago, Alexander Ashford disappeared under mysterious circumstances. To make things worse, Alexander's daughter Alexia, a child prodigy who played a key role in the research, died at a young age. Her untimely demise brought an end to the Veronica project. And the Umbrella files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford lineage gradually lost its power to the corrupt hands of the Umbrella Corporation. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor, and he was sent to command a private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I feel like this year may be special, don't you, Alexia? It's almost like there's something I'm forgetting. My dear Alfred, please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? You're right, Alexia. Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. Way. Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford uh, Prison, uh, Detainee 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? I'm Claire Redfield. Damn, girl. You scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Steve. You don't look like one of them, Claire. They get you too? Yeah, you could say that. What's happening on this island? Someone must have attacked. Caused a biohazard. Biohazard? I don't have time to explain everything. Let's just get out of here. Well, feel free to leave. No one's stopping you. <gasps> what the hell's going on here? Why are they after us? Look, you've got two choices here. Kill or be killed. Your call. <gasps> It'd be nice to have another option, but oh well. I hope you know how to use that thing. Come and get me, goddammit! Damn! How many are there? Come on, this way! This must be a detention facility. Yeah, this is where I was locked up. Anyone else in here with you? Yeah. I broke free right after all this happened. I have no idea what caused this. Look, there's some information I need to find out. Were there any computers around here? There are three. The guards had them. I only used them for games. Oh, and porn, too. Maybe I'll be able to find out what happened to Chris. Well... Guess it's not your kind of humor. Hey, where are you going? You don't have to come if you don't want to. I know. So we're going to be dealing with. Let's 
get inside. All right, here we go. I know it's a mess, but feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, God. What happened here? I wish I knew. I took off without looking back. There it is. I'm gonna take a look. What was that? I think it was just the wind. Look, what are you trying to find out anyway? Uh, that's not wind. Yeah, I know. Hey! Great. Now I gotta deal with this girl's power trip on top of everything else. Oh, man. Guess they didn't make it in time. Was he your cellmate? I can't even tell anymore. Hey, I think we should go back. I have a bad feeling about this. Go right ahead. Ah! So that's what's been making all the noise. Ah! Get back! It's a dead end! Let's go back. There's nothing left in here. There's another one coming in! Why not give him a hand? I don't know how, but we killed them all. I'm pretty good, huh? Well, you're not a complete waste. I hope this still works. Looks like my brother was never even here. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Why are they after him? I don't know. But he's been missing for three months. I was in Paris looking for him. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs. But I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Uh, it's dumb. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Some other jackass screwed up. Landed the two of us in here. 
So we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So you don't know much about this place, do you? Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would anyone want to bomb this place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. Something's in here. Well, we can't go back. Like it's not just humans who turn. So you're the one dragging the bodies underneath. The longer we stay, the more dangerous it will be. You're right. Let's go. It's an ambush! That might be our way out of here. Let's find out. mind singing a lullaby at a time like this. That's exactly why I can't leave her out here all alone. Well, you got to be kidding me. I should have just left you alone, too. Did you hear that? Sounds like maybe a bird? be back. I can feel it. She went. I won't be surprised if we find her dead body. Let's go straight. Hopefully this will lead us off the island. The bats! Again? Are they following us or what? I wonder what this building is for. Here comes the welcoming party! Woman's house. Not sure. It's one hell of a house, though. Ugh. What was that? 
creepy. Footsteps? Is someone there? We have to go check. Part of the Ashford family? It says here she died in 1983. That's 15 years ago. You said Alfred was the only surviving family member, right? <laughs> Feels like we're walking into a trap. I can't believe we're following the singing voice of a dead woman. We can always pretend we didn't hear anything. I guess no one's here. What the hell is this? It's an antique music box. What's it doing here? It's still warm. Something's not right about this. That's her again. Wait, that boy. Is that Alfred? Is that her brother? What are they doing? I think we've seen enough to know that this isn't a good idea. Yeah, I think it's time to go. I am Alfred Ashford, son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Why have you come to disturb us? Was it you? Was it you who spread that wretched virus across my island? to do with us. Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? <laughs> Fool. She has only just now returned to me. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean Alexia? <laughs> she always did enjoy playing games. And she is Come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? If you survive our challenge, I will personally present you with a getaway plane as your prize. Ready? Let the game begin! Come on, run! Run, my little rats! <laughs> You're sitting ducks to hide here like this! He's not stopping! We need to fire back! <laughs> Don't you love this game? What's the matter, my little rat? Aren't you having fun? Who are you calling a rat? Steve! I'm not gonna die here! <laughs> You're doing so well, my little rats. 
You son of a- Stop! The game... must go on. Come to the training field for your next challenge. If you win, I'll let you leave the island. The training field? You mean that place? You can't trust him. This is obviously a trap. I know. But I don't think we have much choice here. Uh. We either stay here and possibly die or catch him and find out how to get off this island. It's one or the other. All right. Let's get this over with. Now you're talking. I'm no rat, and I'm gonna make that very clear to him. Careful. They could be hiding anywhere. Quiet. Nobody seems to be here. It has to be behind this door. We're knowingly walking into our enemy's trap. I think we should be careful about this. By that, you're referring to yourself, right? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I'm not some kid who's afraid of the dark. Steve, the guy's nuts. Don't trust him. <sighs> Great. Another cheap scare. Ah, had about enough of this. Go up. It's Alfred. Welcome to the training ground. <laughs> it's just no fun if you hide. Come on out. I promise not to kill you. Just yet. Cover me. Right. He's begging to get his ass kicked. I definitely needs his head examined. Steve, calm down. You need to focus. Or else you'll wind up dead. 
This guy has problems. That's for sure. Don't let him provoke you. How rude. I was merely trying to be kind. you from all evil spirits. Yeah, right. By the way, thanks. this place. It sure doesn't look like a training field to me. This is insane. Insane? Please. War knows no sanity. The soldiers are trained here to kill, to slaughter, to survive whatever madness they witness. And now, it's your turn, my little lab rats. Of course, if you've had enough, you can end it right here. All you have to do <laughs> is die. <laughs> Steve, we'll do whatever it takes to get through this, okay? for a challenge. Hey! Are you deaf? Come on out! Steve, what's wrong? 
done already? <laughs> I was just warming up! I ain't finished yet! <sighs> Let's go. I'm gonna lose my mind if I stay here any longer. worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash, but they caught him. And they killed my mother. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was... Let's go. of his little pet, and he's next. bet is it's connected to that music box we saw. We have to go back to that room then. This must be it. We need to make them meet, right? Crap! Oh, we killed them! We gotta start over now. That sucks.
that's a complicated way to open a door. Which means someone really doesn't want anyone to go inside. Where do you think this leads? To whatever secrets they don't want us to discover. I attacked this island upon hearing the news of an awakening, but it seems it was a pretense. Steve! Who is it? Though ironically, I feel you will lead me to the truth regardless. Chris's little sister. You're nothing more than a coward! Show yourself, damn it! He... he mentioned my brother's name. Who was that? the one who attacked this island. Let's deal with that later. Right now, we need to focus on how to get off this island. This is creepy. I know Alfred is here, somewhere. should fire their interior decorator. It's Veronica. The Veronica virus. No. I can't. I can't remember anymore. My head is ready to explode! Alexia! Please don't be so hard on yourself, brother. We can still have much fun playing our game. Did you hear that? Yeah, she is alive after all. I knew something was wrong. Let's finish this. Where'd they go? Nobody's here? another hidden passage in here somewhere. Maybe. Let's look for one. Look! It's glowing! A ladder! My god, he's up there! This place is full of toys. Why would he need these? What is this room for? This doesn't look like a study to me. It's just a toy room. Isn't he too old for toys? That's far enough. So, we finally meet, Claire Redfield. I am Alexia Ashford, 
And on behalf of my brother, I will now say goodbye. <laughs> this is where you two are going to die. going to regret this. For you arrogant bitch! Get your ass out here! Alfred was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. What is this key for? I guess we'll find out when we reach the airport. How dare you destroy my world. But you did remind me of one very important thing. I no longer need these toys. What now? The self-destruct system has been activated. All facilities across the island will be terminated. Please evacuate the premises immediately. Terminated? It can't be serious! Sounds like playtime's over. Let's get out of here. Yeah. The airport's this way! Are you sure? Trust me! Look out! <laughs> Shit! Another one of his foot soldiers? How do you like that? I didn't think we could actually defeat him. Don't let your guard down just yet. Yeah, we're running out of time. Let's hurry! This is our way off this island. Wait. Something is wrong here. We don't have time. Let's go! Code Veronica in progress. Claire! Open gate 2B for takeoff. <laughs> I knew you would lead me to the truth. Okay. Now we get the hell off this damn island. Taken my plane. It will only prove for more entertainment. <laughs> what was that? Something is stuck to the pontoon. I'll go back to the cargo room and take a look. What is this? 
you're only playing dead? That's cheating! The seaplane carrying Steve and Claire began to descend and made an emergency landing at an unknown facility, a forgotten site that was just yet another playground. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Latitude 82 degrees 17 minutes south. We're at the South Pole! What? This doesn't look like a tropical island. I don't think this will do us much good anymore. What is this place? Doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. Another one of Umbrella's facilities? We need to find a way out of here before we freeze to death. Right. Wait. Look! Oh, great! Zombies are popping out everywhere these days, huh? Crazy <laughs> bastards! Check. Steve! Well, it's not the wind, that's for sure. It's okay. I'm right here by your side. Yeah, my knight in shining armor, huh?
What is this stuff? Looks like a nest. Oh, this is not good. Awakening. What does that mean? I don't know. The guy was insane. He said, the Queen's awakening. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Let's hurry. Okay. The screaming stopped. <sighs> Maybe he finally got tired of chasing us? <sighs> I hope so.
A snowstorm! here once and for all. Forgive me, Alexia. I thought I could finish them alone. <laughs> Awaken from your slumber and bring forth the great Veronica. <laughs> Our luck! 
lucky day! The key's in it! Steve! Once Chris disappeared after the mansion incident, he was near impossible to track down. But using my newfound position in the government, I eventually discovered his location. I would have contacted his sister, but she was a ghost herself. So I turned my search over to Claire then, and eventually learned of her confinement on Rockford Island. I shared this information with Chris, and he asked me to arrange a rescue mission before he set off on his own to find her. Claire! Claire! Kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later, but we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him. <sighs> You're Alexia Ashford. Oh, you know my name. I thought you were dead. No, I've just been hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. <laughs> hey, stop! Test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! <laughs> I won't. <laughs> kill you! Hold on. 
We're going to get you out of here. No. I'm not going to make it. You know that. The virus is in me. There's no turning back. No. You're coming with us. Claire. Plant this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm going to finish this, Steve. And then we'll all be free. experiment at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? Chris! Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But I've released him of all his responsibilities. You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's start our exciting experiment, shall we? Bad rats aren't meant to run away, you know. How amusing! I can feel Veronica so is 1983, and I am afraid that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I. But he was such a miserable old man. Maybe, but we can't get to it from here. Either way, we need to take her out. And fast. Otherwise, we're dead.